My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Speaking of dumb, Jake, I heard you and your missus when uh, stupid doo-doo dumb got hyphy this weekend. Wow, people forget about your Bay Area roots, Timbo. Yeah, we, uh, Jim, we're both suffering through the Yankees right now, some bad times in Yankees land, and I'm a big believer in you either got to go rock bottom or you got to go, you know, aim high. Me and the lady going to a res concert next week, and Zach put the things on my eyes. Um, so we kind of did a spring training party, uh, and you did the opposite. You went for the rock bottom method. Well, I was partying in my own way. Yes. I had uh, ice cream with cereal on top of it, and then when I finished that and there was just melted uh, ice cream on the bottom, I filled it back up with more cereal, oh, added yes. some milk, kind of like a cereal milkshake situation, ate all of that, shit my pants off, and uh, cried a little bit. So you and we had similar Saturday nights. I cried Sunday, so it's all fair. If you cried this weekend, let us know about it. Leave it in the comments. I cried. I'm a crier. Proud. You know who else might have cried? A lot of pitchers. Jim, the sports. A little bit of a fever dream last night. All of my favorite pitchers taking off their pants on the baseball field. Dreams do come true. And Jim... We had the first name in baseball history, your boy, Hector Santiago. Ejected. Actually was not in my book, but he is now. Now, currently in the book. Hector Santiago gets ejected as part of the new foreign substance protocols. He was having a bad outing. You think you find the guy you can ride for the rest of your life. Jake, actually, you know, you, I have one guy I know not going to get busted. It was Hector Santiago of the Mariners. Hector! Now, it was Phil Cuzzy, I believe, who rejected hey, him. let's not bring the Italians into this. I don't know. It seems like this was rosin. Uh, the manager said it's just rosin. Uh, but then the umpires kind of grabbed their arm like this to service the manager and say, like, no, well, he was mixing the rosin with something, which it explics explicably I think he says, was trying to give him an arm burn. Indian burns? You remember yeah. those? Yeah, sure do. Oh, do little kids still do those to each other? Probably, right? Oh, that's, I hated those. I hate those. I was like, please don't. This sucks. Indian burns and five stars. I was always like, no, juice yeah. not worth the squeeze there. You guys can go, though. Yeah, I'm not in on that. What do you think about the confiscation bag? Do you see that? Yeah, it's awesome. Official. That was the same thing they put that cat in in yeah. uh, Colorado one time. I like, grabbed that wild cat and mm. just threw it in a bag, <laughs> threw it in the dumpster, <laughs> said, sorry about it. Oh, oh, ooh. Ha! <laughs> ah! Okay, there's a full-on cat fight. Fuck this. Picture your balls on my face. How'd it feel? It was good. Manscaped my face. Manscaped his face. I was part of a historic uh, beer pong team once uh, called Your Balls, My Mouth. You want to talk about this almost a breakdown? Almost a breakdown. Let's go to France. Let's go to France. Let's go to France. That's what all of the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> I was going to say the U.S. Airborne <laughs> were saying on D-Day. <laughs> I just watched Band of Brothers. I'm a huge kick. A huge kick. I've been to France. You ever been to France? No, man. Okay. Well, uh, Tour de France, this woman had a sign that said something that translated to something like, Hi, Grandma. And she puts it out into the middle of the lane, and a, bike, a cyclist named Martin hits it. He falls, almost gets his head trampled by the guy behind mm. him, but he dodges him. And then everyone tramples him behind mm. that guy. And, uh, yeah, huge crash because this woman wanted her sign. They're suing her. Mm. They're suing her because they say... We are suing this woman who behaved so badly. In there. We are doing this so the tiny minority of people who do this don't spoil the show for everyone. There was a crash later on. They say they don't know why. I'll tell you why. People part of the first crash were a little bullshit at the people not part of the first crash, and they staged a crash so everyone's equal. Well, and Jim, that's... And that's e as easy as investigating gets. That's the whole thing. For all of us cycling fans, you know the sport has been rampant with cheating for a while. Jim, I didn't tell you beforehand, but I already solved this. Uh, as you look on the replay, you see the four guys in front that didn't get clipped at all, and three of them turn their head back, and they're like, what the hell? The guy on the end doesn't look. So that's... He paid he the woman. He did this. He paid yes. the woman. Yes. Wow. He knew he'd have the outside lane on the other side. Do you think they're even looking into this as an inside job? You're welcome, cycling. Cycling needs cheating, though. Like, that's one of the sports that needs cheating. Uh, Non-cheating, very clean cycling. It's horrible. Uh, it's almost as boring as it gets. It's a uh, hobby for people. Yes. 
Yeah, it's any sport yes. needs cheating. It's cycling. It's cycling. Good for them then. I have it now as they are doing it. They're suing themselves. She's works Francais. for Tour de France. I like that. Uh, let's go to not sports. This is sports, not. Jim, this is a big one. This has been the talk of the office today. Your girl, Haley Iliff. Shout out. Add her on the gram after this. Florida State, go Knowles. She said she was coming home uh, from New York. Oh, my God. And uh, raccoon fell through the ceiling. And then subsequent raccoons after that, baby raccoons. And they won. They took over. They took over yeah. the the thing. So there was, I guess, raccoons in the ceiling, and she was protecting her babies. And then the mom the fell raccoon, through. Not Haley Eilis. Yeah, the mom raccoon fell through, and then all the kids fell through as well. This sucks. If I came home to a bunch of raccoons in my room, I think I, I'd move or something. I don't know. I'd feel. I don't know. One time, I had to get rid of a raccoon, uh, and it was a big fat raccoon. Mm. And I, uh, it was when we started the company, I had no money. I spent like my month's paycheck on brand new garbage cans and garbage lids and bungee cords to strap them down. Mm. Got rid of the raccoons, didn't eat for a little bit. There was a bat in my house once and my folks split up because of me. Uh, Jake. Seventh grade, my sister's seventh grade science teacher came over to our house and got the bat. And I had to... Like, I went back in my sister's shoes, and I was like, that had to be so weird for you, right? And she was like, yep, absolutely. And I was just like, oh, guy's here to get the bat. Why is it the science teacher? He heard, and I think he, like, knew there wasn't a, a male presence in the house yet, and he, like, did a noble thing. So when my child Probably has a bat, and before he did so, he used Manscaped, somehow. Manscaped. Show him, Jim, show him what your balls on my face would look like. Okay, everyone picture my balls on Jake's face. That was that was nice. Oh my god. <laughs> so, all right, you were telling a story about how your sister's 7th grade science teacher banged out your mom after getting the bats out of the room. Is that where we left it? I don't see that on there. <laughs> That's I don't, what you said. I don't see that yeah, on all there. I'm, all I'm doing is saying what you might have said. Anyway, shout out to my children's future seventh grade science teacher, because now I know to call them if there's a bat, because I'm not getting it. No, it's a noise I hear in my head a lot. I have a lot of your hair on my piece of paper. It was one of the worst. <laughs> do you remember the World Cup? I think it was like South Africa. <laughs> just put your hair on you. I know. And they just had, <laughs> they just had a, Zach thought that was they had a noise between commercials, and it was just, oh, yeah. Always in my head. He was crucified by Pontius Pilate. <laughs> That's the funniest part of that <laughs> every time. <laughs> It's like, whoa, why are you singing that so jollily? Like, I was talking, our Lord and Savior was crucified and you're just singing about it? Oops. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's two claps em- on two. One, two. Jimmy! I thought it was going to be one, two. It's two claps on two. One, two. Employee of the week goes to the king of Yankee Stadium, Theo. Theo. Boom, boom, boom. Jake and I were at a game. Theo brought us a full plate of breakfast in the first inning, a second plate of breakfast in the second inning, Dinner in the fifth inning. Dinner in the fifth. And dessert in the seventh. One of the wildest things I've ever seen. All of that I, is two hours long. You know, we're we're living, we're doing a lot of cool stuff, and that's awesome. I never thought that I would have two breakfasts and a dinner in the first five innings of a game at Yankee Stadium, and that's boxes checked. Thank you, Thea, who is a Weekly Dumb fan. I couldn't breathe well for, like, 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Weekly Dumb! Support for this show was brought to you by Manscaped. Shave your balls. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code DUMB20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code DUMB20 at manscaped.com. Just imagine your balls on Jake's face and shave them. I hate to bring the mood down a little bit. Or maybe we're bringing it up with Zach here. Dark energy. 